the idea to create the company first started from not wanting to uh, go back to work doing a 60 to 70 hour job with a small baby and having to put him in childcare. I wanted to be able to stay at home, look after him, do the business and grow the business at the same time. So the, the Jam Horse became the Jam Horse in September 2015. Previous to that it was called W Baby, which was the first two letters of my children's names and was a baby food company. I, I set it up that way because my youngest child was coming up to weaning and I decided to do something that would uh, benefit him as well as uh, be a good business to start. Um, and the business went quite well, but during the summer months I started doing some summer fairs and doing um, various different, more adult versions of baby food, essentially applesauce and strawberry jam, lemon curd, and they far outsold what I was doing with the baby food. And that was when I made the decision to move W Baby and change it to become the Jam Horse. When I was a child, I was totally obsessed with horses and every waking hour when I wasn't doing something academic, I was at the stables um, with animals, with horses, um, and that has been where my passion has, has lain for all of my life. My main inspirations, I suppose, for the company in terms of the skills that I have are my mum and my grandma, because they were the ones who taught me to cook. So both of them together taught me all the skills that I've got about matching flavour combinations and how to cook, essentially. And I think that's part of the reason why my vision for the company has been so clear and so um, absolute from the beginning that it has to have no additives, no preservatives, everything has to be done in a traditional way because I think that's why we get the feedback that we do from the customers that it tastes like their grandma used to make or it's traditional, it's artisan, all of those words are the things that I think are appealing about my company. In July 2017 we worked, moved from a domestic kitchen into a commercial kitchen which totally changed the way in which I worked because it's a very different environment and it's much easier to cook in a commercial kitchen because it, you don't have, you've got a bigger area and you don't have the constraints that you've got at home. So I use one table for preparation, one table for jarring and it, there are several different processes that you go through when you're, you're producing so you bring the deliveries in um, of all the produce chop it up, process it, do whatever it needs to be done, wash it, uh, cook it, and then when, once they're cooked, they go into the jars, um, and then they're jarred on here. Labelled. Date stamped, um, and then they go in the back into storage, ready to be ordered. I think picking a name that you're passionate about gives you something to, to think about. When I drive up and I, I see the name of my company, it immediately identifies me as me, even though people call me the jam lady now. For me, because I, I see a horse every day, it's bringing my main passion into, into what I do every day. I organised an event recently at Cusworth Hall in Doncaster. Um, where I had several other food companies come and join me to be a panel of judges to have a look at the products that I was considering stocking in the shop. We invited uh, the people who we were interested in stocking to either come to the event and pitch directly to us um, or to send their products in um, so that we could score, grade and evaluate and decide what was going to go into the shop with the following day having the general public coming in and trying and seeing if they had a differing opinion to us. I suppose the Jam Horse is a, a growing company that's passionate about creating quality foods for foodies essentially and that's one of the reasons that we're opening the new shop in the town centre um, to offer things that, that accompany our products and that complement our products. So you can come into our shop, pick up one of our jams or chutneys or relishes and you can find something within the shop that will go along with that. Um, and that's, that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to create uh, a shop where people can have a one-stop shop to come and get all their foodie delights. The 
I think the Jam Horse, from the start of the, the journey to the end of it, it's, it's been stress, it's been excitement, it's been every single possible emotion that, that you could go through. But I would do it all again, I think. And I think there is the possibility that in a few years' time, when this is where I want it to be, that there's the, every possibility that I might throw myself in the deep end and do it again.